So how's it going guys and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be covering quite a few things that I did want to point out to you guys to do with the upcoming Lowrider DLC update. Uh, just a few things that I found quite interesting that I did want to forward to you guys today. Now before we do begin I do want to quickly uh, announce that tomorrow's video um, I'm going to have two videos up. One of them should be a brand new updated money guide for you guys for the best ways that you can make money in GT5. Of course in preparation for that Lowrider DLC update and as well after that it's either going to be the top five clips of the week which is out quite late this week i do apologize for that uh, or that will be out on the monday of course the day afterwards and for those of you out there who are looking uh, to get some uh, gta money i am hosting another giveaway on the channel and by the way if you are looking for the winner of the previous giveaway um, i will leave the video linked down in the description down below at the very end of my previous video i did actually announce that but this time we are giving away two whale shark cards which are basically 3.5 million dollars uh, in gt5 and there's going to be two winners are getting two of them on the console of their choice so if you want to enter that as well once again link down in the description down below on how you can enter that and potentially win yourself 3.5 million gta dollars anyway getting in to the main portion of the video today and this is based off a collaboration i guess or a collection of a few things that i did want to point out to you guys uh, in this video and we're going to start this off today with the bobbleheads as many of you may know by now bobbleheads are going to be a customization for the interior of vehicles uh, in gta 5 i've put this out in several videos before but what I didn't know is how many bobbleheads have been spotted so far. And there's actually quite a few. Uh, there is five in total that we know of so far, which I'm going to be showing you guys on screen. Whether or not this is the complete amount of bobbleheads, we don't currently know if this is, you know, there's only five in the game or there's more yet to be seen. Uh, but these are the five that we have so far. So on screen right now is going to be an image. I do want to give credit to Reticord for actually tweeting this out and putting this together. And um, here is the image of all five of the bobbleheads. As you can see, you have the one uh, on the left there which is the one from the newswire image we have the guy you know with the skull he has the guitar going on to the bottom of that image we of course have the space monkey bobblehead which i didn't even notice from the trailer at all uh, but as you can see there that is the space monkey one uh, to the right of that we have a bobblehead wearing a sports helmet as you can see there um, just up from that to the left, we have a guy wearing glasses as a bobblehead as well. And then in the top right hand corner, we have a guy wearing a green hat as another bobblehead. And this is quite interesting to me because I only really thought there was two different bobbleheads. I only really spotted two. I didn't really look too in depth. Uh, to these but I think it's pretty cool how five have indeed been spotted so far and uh, once again whether or not that's five in total we have yet to see. Something else that's quite interesting that somebody did actually point out to me is in the back of Benny's workshop a banshee was in fact spotted and as many of you may know by now I believe Rockstar only really looked or stated that there was around half a dozen which is six of course uh, vehicles that can be customized inside of Benny's workshop um, whether or not they have more but just haven't stated it yet is yet to be known but this one's quite interesting a lot of people are saying you know why else would a banshee be in the back of there if we can't customize it in there and um, hopefully that is the case that's just the speculation going around right now um, about this one current scene and judging by the scene itself that very well could be the case and I really do hope so uh, for when the update does drop Something else spied is the fact that you can actually use heavy weapons at either the back or the side of the brand new Moonbeam. And for those of you who don't know, the Moonbeam is a brand new minivan coming uh, to the Lowrider update. And I'm not too sure from this image, I can't really get the uh, right angle. I'm not too sure if this is shooting from the back or the side, but you can in fact use heavy weapons from the Moonbeam. And if you were to take a look at the uh, second clip of the trailer, you'd actually know it was the Moonbeam from the decals on it and stuff like that. But this is quite interesting, you know, this could actually make the Moonbeam a pretty damn good vehicle. You know, if you can use those heavy weapons from the sides or the back, that would actually make it pretty damn useful. And of course, look epic as well with all of those crazy, crazy customizations on them. So definitely an awesome little fact there to know just in case you didn't. And I'm moving on to the final few things. One of them was actually from the trader uh, thumbnail. Uh, that was on the Rockstar Games YouTube channel. Now, this wasn't spotted in the gameplay trailer itself. Uh, this wasn't spotted from any newswire images. It was only spotted 
on the thumbnail once again of the uh, GTA Online Lowriders trailer. Now, I'll have an image of this on its screen and there's a couple of things that I do want to point out to you guys. The first one is Benny's official license plate, which you can actually apply uh, to your vehicles. There's actually a few different license plates. This was one that I didn't actually quite spot. Um, I did actually spot the Pounders one, which was from another image. Uh, but this one's the official Benny's one. You can actually see this in game as well. If you go ahead and take a look at this image here. Now, bearing that in mind that that's one thing that we know is coming in game. If you go ahead and take a look at the wheels of the vehicle in the back, they have gold rims and from gameplay trailer gameplay of course uh, you have you know uh, news white images and stuff like that this hasn't been spotted literally anywhere else apart from on this thumbnail image which is quite interesting you know uh, the speculation going around is could this be a feature and uh, once again bearing in mind that the benny's plate thing at the front is actually in the game I kind of think that this may be a feature as well. We only really have two different style of rims right now. We have the stock rims, uh, we have the chrome rims. Another type of rims was spotted as well, uh, which I covered in a previous video, which is like a very vintage style kind of rim. And judging by this thumbnail image, I truly do believe that this may in fact be another kind of rim uh, coming with this update. And that pretty much wraps it up for this video today. Once again, just wanted to kind of uh, inform you guys on a few more things that I was recently informed on. I kind of keep you guys updated as much as I can for all this lowriders dlc update as always leave a like if you did enjoy subscribe if you guys are new around check out the giveaway in the description down below and i'll catch you guys tomorrow with two brand new videos peace out